What's up Marinas, this is Abhilash Thakur and welcome back to Sailor's Guide. Alright guys, so now we have reached up to rule number 26 that is about the lights of a fishing vessel. So this is going to be an important rule because you are going to see a lot of fishing vessels when you are especially around this Chinese uh, waters and uh, in European waters. So you got to understand what are the lights of the fishing vessel. So there are basically two divisions here, there are lights of the trawler and lights of the fishing vessel. Well, trawler basically means a vessel who is dragging the net along with itself. Actually, they have a gear on the stern of their vessel and it drags the net along with it. So, they move with a very slow speed, about 2 to 2.5 two knots and or sometimes they move with the current also. So, they move slowly and drag the net alongside and these fishes get caught into that net. But uh, the fishing vessel use that fishing gear to actually get the fishes. Okay, so they use this fishing gear which will go, you know, either to the port or to the starboard side of this uh, uh, vessel and it will, you know, put that net down into the water and grabs it like this. So that's why this trawler and fishing vessel, the style of fishing is little different. So the lights for this uh, trawler and the fishing vessels are different because of this reason, because they have a different kind of uh, fishing style so that in night time we know that what kind of the fishing vessel this is, is it a trawler or is it a fishing vessel. But in a day signal they have same day signal because at day time you can easily make out that that is a trawler or a fishing vessel. At night time, they have different signals. So, without wasting our time, let's get started. This rule number 26, A part says, A vessel engaged in fishing, whether underway or at anchor, shall exhibit only the lights and shapes prescribed in this rule. So, basically here in this part, they are saying that uh, the lights should be as per the rule number 26. The lights of the fishing vessel should be as per the rule number 26. So, let's start with the B part. B part says, A vessel when engaged in trawling by which is meant the dragging through the water of dredge net or other apparatus used as fishing appliances shall exhibit two all-round lights in a vertical line, the upper being green and the lower being white. Or a shape consists of two cones with their apex together in a vertical line, one above the other. Second part says, A mass headlight above or higher than the all-round green light, a vessel of less than 50 meter in length shall not be obliged to exhibit such a light, but may do so. When making way through the water, in addition to the lights prescribed in this paragraph, side lights and a star light. Alright guys, so this is very simple. They are saying if that vessel is a trawler, not fishing, if she is a trawler, it means she is dredging that net uh, to get these fishes. So, so that vessel need to exhibit the two lights in a vertical line, one above the other. In a vertical line means one above the other and the upper one should be green the lower one should be white. It should be all round lights. The green one and the white one will be all round lights. Well, here is the example of the trawler which is making way. You can see here there are two all round lights, the green one on the top of white one and you can see the side lights and a stern light here. So this is the example of the lights of trawler. And in the second part they are saying in daytime they should have a day signal of two cones in a vertical line, same and that apex should be together. So the conical part of the cone should be joined together and it should be in a vertical line that will look like this. Okay, in the second part they are saying that the trawler vessel should exhibit um, additional mass headlight if she is more than 50 meters in length. But we have learned in rule number 23 that if a power driven vessel is more than 50 meters in length, she should have a mass headlight above and higher. Here also the same case because as you know the fishing vessel is normally a power driven vessel. So if she is a more than 50 meters in length, she has to exhibit this masthead light. Other than that, if she is less than 50 meters in length, it's not mandatory for that vessel to exhibit this masthead light, additional masthead light. Only this green light and this white light or round lights will be enough. Okay. Well, here is the example of the trawler which is more than 50 meters in length. You can see here there is one more additional light, masthead light which is above and higher. Also in the third part, we have learned throughout this uh, lights and shapes videos that uh, if a vessel is making way, she has to exhibit side lights and a stern light. Making way means simply means that you are cutting through the water, you are making way through the water, you are not stopped completely. So these lights are all about the trawler lights. Let's jump on to the next part now. All right guys, so now we will jump on to the next part that is the C part of this rule which is about the lights of fishing vessel. We have covered about the trawler. Now we will go to the fishing vessel lights. So the C part says, a vessel engaged in fishing other than trawling shall exhibit first a two all round lights in a vertical line, the upper being red and the lower being white or a shape consists of two cones with apex together in a vertical line, one above the other. When there is an outline gear extending more than 150 meter horizontally from the vessel, an all round white light or a cone apex upward in the direction of the gear. 
when making way through the water in addition to the lights prescribed in the paragraph side lights and a star light all right guys so simply here they are saying that if you are a fishing vessel other than the trawlers you have to exhibit two lights in a vertical line that should be all round lights upper one should be red one and the down one will be white one well in the trawler upper one was green and lower one was white here in fishing vessel there will be red one on the top and the white one should be at the lower position okay guys you can see the difference here the fishing vessel have uh, this uh, red all round light on top of the white one in the trawler that is a green light all other lights are the same the making way lights you already know side lights and a star light and also the day signal here they are saying it is same the two cones in a vertical line apex together it means the pointy part of this cone should be together that is known as the apex and it will be together in a vertical line in the second sub paragraph they are saying that if the gear of the fishing vessel is more than 150 meters in length then you have to exhibit one more white light okay it will be in the direction of the gear let's say you have put it on the port side that gear is more than 150 meters in length then you will put that light towards the port side and if it is a day time then you have to put one more cone apex upwards towards the direction of the gear so there will be two cones in a vertical line for the fishing vessel and one more additional cone if the gear is more than 150 meters in length towards the direction of that gear either it will be on the port side or on the starboard side or aft whatever their location is also in the third part it's the same thing when she is making way through the water she has to exhibit side lights and a stern light we already know that if a vessel is making way then she has to exhibit side lights and a stern light side light is port side red starboard side green and stern light you already know that is a white light and covering 135 degrees of the sector all right so this is about the fishing vessel lights we will move on to the next part now that is about the d part here in d part it simply says that uh, the nx2 of the ror covers up the lights of the fishing vessel there are more additional lights about the fishing vessel which are in covered up in nx2 that we will cover on later in the rules and here they have said that these lights should be included okay which are in nx2 so now we will jump on to the next part that is the last part of this rule that is e part the e part says a vessel when not engaged in fishing shall not exhibit the lights or shapes prescribed in the rule but only those prescribed for a vessel of her length well this part is very very important here they are saying if the vessel is not engaged in fishing let's say that vessel which was doing fishing now she has done fishing she is wrapped up and she is going back to the shores she is no more fishing vessel because she is not engaged in fishing or trawler whatever you can say it means she has to exhibit the lights which are as per the power driven vessel as per the length of that vessel okay so we have covered up in uh, rule number 23 the power driven vessel different different length has a different different lights for that so she has to exhibit those kind of light not the fishing vessel light okay because she is done fishing she is not engaged in fishing it means she has to exhibit the lights which are prescribed in rule number 23 that is power driven vessel because most probably these fishing vessels or the strollers will be power driven these days these are all are power driven okay so this is about the video guys if you find this video helpful please press the like button please press it now because it is very helpful for me and also do subscribe the channel also press the notification bell and press all notifications so that you don't miss out the videos which are coming up next also if you have any questions regarding merchant navy or rr you can put down in the comment section below i will try to answer it there or i will try to make a video on it okay so i will see you in the next video this is avilash thakur signing off